Hallelujah. Good morning, Temple. Hallelujah. Welcome to this last Sunday in 2023. Come on, does anybody know that the Lord has been faithful? Anybody know that we serve a God that will not fail? Hallelujah. All of your problems, all of your pain, all of your troubles, you can give it to Jesus. All of your burdens, all of your cares, even your struggles, you can give it to Jesus. Cause he won't fail.
with my own eyes I've seen it in my own life Cause he keeps every promise sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Never be forsaken I've seen it in my own life I've seen it with my own eyes And he keeps every promise I'll never be forsaken Come on, is anybody is there a witness in the house? He keeps every Every only you can touch like only you can heal like only you can and yes God we expect to see miracles even on today oh God we thank you for the man of God who's going to break the bread of life in this place on today our pastor Dale A. Drumright oh God continue to give him preaching power from on high oh God we ask that you give the people of God ears to hear and hearts to receive what the Spirit of the Lord has to say through the music, through the preach word, and through the scriptures on today. Now, Holy Spirit, move in this place. Reign, rest, rule, and abide. Take full control like only you can. And we will continue to give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. It is in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, who is the Christ, we pray. Amen. Here in the sanctuary, we ask that you would stand and join us as we offer up a sacrifice of praise. We come to give our greatest God high praise for this past Sunday of the New Year. Come on. If you don't mind, put your hands together. Help us lift up the songs of Zion. Right here we say, the Lord is high above the heavens. The Lord is high above the heavens. And his glory above all nations. And his glory above all nations. Say, the Lord is above the heavens. The Lord is high above the heavens. And the glory above all nations. And the glory above Say it again. The Lord is high above the heavens. And the glory above all nations. And the glory above We sing the Lord is high above the heavens. And the glory above all nations. And the glory above So give God the highest praise and knowledge in Him away. And all the people say, Hallelujah. Amen. 
praise my great God. Somebody cry. God has been good, y'all. And all my life you have been faithful. Oh, yes, you have. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, and I will sing of the your voice. 
Come on, y'all, y'all sing it with me. You're good because the spirit is running after. It's running after me. Your goodness is running after. It's running after me. With my life laid down, I'm surrendered now. I give you everything. Because your goodness is running after. It's running after me. Y'all make this personal. Y'all sing praises unto God. Come on, y'all sing it with me. All my life you have been faithful. Yes, come on, make it personal unto Him. All my life you have been so, so After Peter and the other apostles preached unto them Jesus Christ, the question was raised, men and brethren, what shall we do? And the response was to repent and to be baptized, every one of you, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. In this season, COVID has really taught us to be flexible and to do different things, so I'm going to do something different today. I want Reverend Cummings to come, Dr. Cummings to come up to the pulpit. Pastor Wynn is going to give her the microphone. Her granddaughter is being baptized, and I wanted her and her granddaddy. Chelsea Lauren Steele, upon the confession of your faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, we now baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. Well, I've already been to already been to the water. Deacon Beatty's granddaughter is being baptized today. We wanted him to come into the water. Bless him, bless him, bless him. Hallelujah. Glory to God, glory to God. 
In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, yep. and upon the profession of your faith, I do indeed baptize you, Cameron, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the blessed Holy Ghost. to each and every person that's present with us on today. If this is your first time visiting with us, we extend to you a most hearty welcome. We want you to know that God loves you and so do I. And what we want you to do now is just look to your neighbor. Don't spit on anybody as the pastor says. Let them know that God loves them and so do you. Amen. Amen. And as we, thank you, thank you Dr. Wilson. As we prepare, if you are in the sanctuary, we ask that you share the stream that other, hold on, that other, please stand as we offer up the hymn, morning hymn. But if you're in the sanctuary and you are on social media, we ask that you would share the stream and that others might be able to join us. Amen. Let's stand as we sing together. Just a little talk with Jesus. Makes it right. Come on. Well, I once was lost in sin. I once was lost in sin. Well. And then, feel my, my soul. It bathed my heart with love. It bathed my heart in love. Oh, and it wrote my name above. And just a little talk. Without a ray of cheer, and then a cloud, and then a cloud of doubt may hide the night of day. The mist of sin may run, and hide my star. But just a little talk. Whoa! 
doubts and fears. Help me say. My eyes be filled. My eyes be filled with tears. But Jesus is a friend. But Jesus is a friend who watches day and night. That's it. I go to him in prayer. I go to him in prayer. He knows. Oh. And just a little talk. Jesus. Come on, help. We want to acknowledge those who are having bereavement. So we have Deacon Roosevelt Williamson in the passing of his mother. Her funeral will be Saturday, January the 13th at the Blair Chapel CME Church in Jackson, Tennessee. Visitation is at 11 a.m. and the funeral to follow at 12 noon. Sister Brenda Bunch, we remember her in our prayer in the, in the passing of her brother. Sister Sonia Brown in the passing of her father. Sister Marie Martin in the passing of her sister, Minister Maxine Miller and Sister Dottie Miller in the passing of their aunt and great aunt, Sister Carol Smith and family in the season of transition, Dr. Jim Morrell, Sister Diane Hill, and Brother Charles Watts, keeping all of those families in our prayer. And today we wish these individuals a happy birthday, Sister Judy Fillinery, Sister Glenda Alvin, Sister Nicole Timberlake Lynch, Brother CJ, Sister Jordan Johnson, Brother Alonzo Hyde, Sister Chelsea Steele. Amen. What a birthday present. Amen. And happy 80th birthday to Sister Evelyn Watson. Amen. We say happy birthday to Sister Janice Dozier, Sister Takaka Jackson Price, Dr. Salita Holloway, Sister Glenda Alvin, Brother Lance Williams, and Brother Alonzo Hyde. And, and we remember today and we acknowledge Brother Dwight and Sister Darlene Beard as they celebrate their 26th wedding anniversary. Amen, amen. As we prepare our hearts for prayer on this day, we come to the altar singing Sweet Hour of Prayer. And Pastor Phyllis Sublet will lead us to the throne of grace. Amen. Sweet hour. Of prayer, sweet sweet of prayer that calls me from oh, our world of care. Father, 
our Lord and our God. Such a sweet, sweet spirit in this place. And we know it is the spirit of the Lord. We come to this sweet hour of prayer, calling on you in every way that we know how. God, we thank you for how you have kept us. God, we thank you for how you continue to hear us. And God, we thank you for bringing us to this place. Oh God, we know that you love us because we've seen it with our own eyes and we've seen it in our own lives. Oh God, we come first asking you to forgive us. Because even in this very moment, we have fallen short of your glory. And for that, we asked your mercy and we asked your grace. There are those here today, Heavenly Father, that are going through Sorrow's Valley. Their hearts are heavy, their hearts are broken. But we know you as a heart fixer and a mind regulator. Oh God, we thank you for how you continue throughout this whole year to keep us in your care. Heavenly Father, we come knowing that there are those here today who need healing in their body, healing in their mind, healing in their home, healing in their relationships, and God, we ask right now that you dispatch your angels out before us so we can feel your presence like we've never felt it before. Heavenly Father, we thank you for a place of worship. We thank you for the preacher of this hour. Bless him, Heavenly Father, from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. Keep his family, God. Keep his family, God. Heavenly Father, we thank you for how you continue to keep us in your care. Now, God, we came for a miracle. We came to worship you. We came because we know that you are God and there is none like you. But most of all, we came in the name of Jesus, Jesus the Christ, Mary's baby. God, we know that in that name, demons tremble. In that name, sickness leaves. In that name, bodies are healed. In that name, families are mended. In that name, Churches go up in praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In that name. And that name is Jesus. Oh God, we thank you. Oh God, we praise you. We say hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. And sit and sing.
Sweet hour prayer. Sweet hour prayer. Unison reading this morning comes from Amos chapter 9, verses 13 through 15. Amos chapter 9, verses 13 through 15. And we invite your attention to the screens as we read together. Yes, indeed. It won't be long now. God's decree. Things are going to happen so fast. Your head will swim, one thing fast on the heels of the other. You won't be able to keep up. Everything will be happening at once, and everywhere you look, blessings, blessings like wine pouring off the mountain and hills. I'll make everything right again for my people Israel. They'll rebuild their ruined cities. They'll plant their vineyards and drink good wine. They'll work their gardens and eat fresh vegetables. And I will plant them, plant them on their own land. 
they'll never again be uprooted from the land I've given them. God, your God, says so. The word of God for the people of God.
given us power. It has resurrected us. Some of us have been in some places where others had rendered us as dead. We may not have been literally dead, but dead in our dreams, dead in our emotions. And the power of God on the inside of us helped us to get up and to see things differently. And I'm so glad that God has given us that kind of power. power. I'm glad God has given us that kind of power that has seen us to this last day in the year, 2023. And I tell you, I don't know about you, in spite of it all, my testimony is that God has been good. Yes, God has. I don't know about anybody else. This has been a strange year. It's been a strange year. Is there anybody who can tell the truth? It's been a strange year. But how many folks are glad God has been with you? Even in the midst of the strangeness, God has been with us, even when it got rough. And so I'm just glad that wherever we are, God is there. And because God is there, we can say all is well. If you believe it, somebody say all is well. All is well. All is well. On this Lord's Day, the money on the altar, and I'm going to make a contribution on behalf of my own family. I want the altar money, Deacon Randall, after church, just put it in the vault. The save, put it in the safe. That money is going to go to Pastor Vincent Johnson. Hallelujah. He's the pastor of Community Baptist Church. I mentioned to you, for those who don't know, their church and family life center were completely destroyed in the tornado. And sometimes we don't consider the fact that he has a wife. He has children. His income, part of it, I believe, was supported from the church. And there's a heart bend that went out when you see another pastor, he is a dynamic, awesome man of God. He's a wonderful man of God. Don't think about it, he's an omega, but I look beyond his fault. <laughs> and I saw his need, amen. Hey, but I wanted us to bless, and so thank you for those who are responding in this way. You don't know what he's done. For me, it gave me the victory. Oh, I love him. I love him. I, I really love.
I believe in the Word of God. I believe that the promises of God's Word are true. I thought about when the tornado happened. For those who are maybe visiting, you wasn't in Nashville or another state, it, it, it was an unusual day. Yeah. It was warm. Yeah. And it's supposed to be cold. Yeah. Yeah. And then we heard the sirens go off. Mm -hmm. And I jokingly, I told you, Latanya, she had her boot on and we were in the hallway trying to navigate through her being on a scooter and getting ourselves together. And we had Dr. Cork on speakerphone and they were cutting up and laughing at me because I was singing Storm Out on the Ocean, and I was pointing at the wind and telling the wind, peace be still. Yes, God. Yes, God. But what got me, I said, okay, Lord, keep my family. But when we were watching the news, and we heard them say, it's moving on King's Lane. They called, did not, did, didn't, didn't they say it, Deacon? They said it. Then they said, it's passing by the Temple Church. Then they called out Cathedral of Praise. Then they called out Word. Or they just started calling, and I said, oh, Jesus. And I called Deacon Scott. I said, Deacon Scott, what's going on over there? Deacon Scott said, everything had just moved on. And, and that's why I'm telling you now. It wasn't us then. But you never know when it might be you. Just like when the flood happened. See, there were members of this church. It wasn't them before, but it was them that time. That's why it pays to do right by God's people. The Bible said, be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever men and women sow, that also shall they reap. So it don't hurt to do right by somebody else. Because you never know how you'll reap that way. Somebody hear me in the church today. So I thank you. I, we were just going to give the regular altar money to him, but thank you for your response. I thank God that I serve a church. I grew up in a church, grew up in a family that doesn't mind giving, give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, press down. I don't know about nobody else. I need some. Anybody needs some. I need some. Shaking together. In fact, if you don't mind, just put your arm. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together. Look at somebody and just do this. In fact, do this first. I want you to be blessed, pressed down, shaken together. And then, I want you to be blessed running over. I know a God who's able to do it. I don't know how you need to be blessed, what your desire is, but I know a God who will bless you. I tell you, when you leave from this place, even as you walk through the parking lot, 
somebody look at you crazy but don't worry about it God can take the crazy things flip that thing around I'm looking for God hallelujah 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 thank you Jesus thank you Jesus today we bless our God for being a God the God of the press down the God of the shaking together and the God of the running over. Let me give this word. Ushers, you may be seated. Thank you to our ushers. Hallelujah. Bless your name, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. as well go on and praise him on the last day of a year. Amen. Hallelujah. In fact, if you don't mind, it's 1058. I'm going to start preaching no later than 11 o'clock. It's split up. But won't you just give God a praise for God's bringing power even when it's been rough. Bless God. Hey, 
magnify, celebrate our great God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he pitied every groan. Long as I live, while trouble rise, I'll hasten to his throne. Bread of heaven, bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. Bread of oh, 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 heaven, feed till I. Of a city called heaven, and I'm.
trying. And I'm trying. Oh, I'm trying. Oh, I'm trying to make heaven my, my home. Come on, y'all. Let me get this part of the word out. This is gonna give a little bit of. Lord have mercy. Yo, come on, y'all, give, give me a few minutes. I ain't going to preach this whole word. We, we, we can, I had already split it up. We're going to split it, but I do need to give the beginning part of the word. I need to give the beginning part of the word for today. Ooh, wee. <laughs> Lord have mercy. On Pat, they would say, thank God for Jesus. <laughs> thank God for Jesus. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Those who come for our young people, you, you got parents and grandparents and your pastor. We some of us come from the old way, and every now and again, somebody with what we call line of song and just holler it out. <laughs> Sometimes just take you back. Yes, Lord, I kind of felt a bishop's spirit. I felt, definitely felt a Reverend Goodwin spirit because, Lord, no. <laughs> when we would go on retreat, we would have morning devotion and we would sit on the veranda, the balcony, whatever. And so sometimes Bishop and I would be the first ones up and he would say, why don't you just land me a Dr. Watts? And so I'd line one, and if you know, he sometimes he get to hollering, and the bird stuff. <laughs> but it's sometimes something, you know, you just go back and remind you of where you come from and what God has brought you through and how God has brought you over. Yes, Lord. See, Dr. Holloway down in. Paris and Camden up in the little bit of church and all them deacons would holler in the country and all that. Yes, Lord, have mercy. Well, y'all come on with me real quick because uh, uh, <laughs> Lord, I was trying to get myself back together. Amen. <laughs> the executive pastor want to keep on humming City Call Heaven. That was my grandmama's song and I said, no, I'm not going to do it. Not going to do it. Not gonna break the day, amen. <laughs> Not gonna break the day. Oh, my goodness. I will tell you this much, and he will do <laughs> what no other power. Uh -oh. <laughs> Holy Ghost power. Let me, let me. <laughs> down. I, I am not going to tell you what my prayer was, but I had a specific prayer that I asked God to answer. It's, it's an answer in six parts. And I asked God to at least answer the first part by the end of the year. And it happened on Christmas Day. And I just said, and he will do. <laughs> what no other power. Point at somebody, and y'all gonna have to give me at least 10 minutes. I need to give y'all the first part of this. Point at somebody and just let them know. I, I, this, you, can, you can act like this on the last day of the year, amen. But point at them and tell he will do what no other power, Holy Ghost power, can do. Point at one more person, tell, and I want you to say it like you meant. Tell him he will do what no other power, Holy Ghost power, can do. Now put your hand on yourself and say, Self, he will do what no other power, 
Holy Ghost power can do. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I got, I, 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 the Lord keep telling me, there were two things I knew when I got up this morning and I was leaving the house. The Lord said, don't rush. Don't rush. The Lord told me today, don't rush. And, and that's why I wasn't rushing to get, I told Dr. Cork, Dr. Cork, you handle prayer set up for me because the Lord told me, don't rush. I refuse to rush past to get to this. I know which part of the word I need for you to get today, but the Lord kept telling me, don't rush. Because even in the wind of God moving, somebody is getting something that they need. And I just refuse to rush past it, trying to be about my own programming. Don't rush. Don't rush. Hallelujah. Hallelujah today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, don't get scared. That don't mean we're going to be here all day. I just wasn't going to rush. <laughs> Somebody like, oh, jeez. <laughs> That's not what that meant. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me calm you down. <laughs> calm your spirit. <laughs> but sometimes you can be so in a hurry to get to your peace that God is desiring to do something different. Let me give you these first parts of what the Lord has given me, it, and we'll split up the rest maybe throughout the next couple of weeks, but I, I want us to at least have this first part because I know, I know uh, <laughs> we were even cutting up before a service. Some of us are getting our today and tomorrow meal ready, amen. Yeah, yeah. Ain't no need. You ain't got to. You ain't got to act like I ain't talking to you. <laughs> Cause somebody, somebody waiting on that fried chicken now. Uh, <laughs> mac and cheese. <laughs> Collard greens with turkey meat. Notice I didn't say fat back. I said. Candied yams. <laughs> Hot water cornbread. <laughs> Look, Grand Grand, I think the saints are hungry, man. <laughs> and I know Dr. Woods cooked some, uh, uh, some good old black eyed peas. <laughs> If you haven't seen it, you may be going to see it. You may have seen it and may be going to see it again, of course. A phenomenal presentation, I believe, of the musical and the Broadway rendition of Color Purple. <laughs> now, I'll admit, let me just admit, <laughs> but Tanya had to tell me, shut up in the movie. <laughs> because I did not know it was based on the music. I said, what are they doing all this singing for? <laughs> then I said, oh, it's all for your oh. <laughs> I know I ain't the only one, amen. My, my spirit had to get right, amen. <laughs> but after I got my spirit right, amen. Maybe some kids will go and see migration, which I hear has phenomenal life principles. Maybe they'll go see Trolls, the band together. I know some of us, including myself, are going to see what the Titans can or might be able to do with the Texans. Uh, <laughs> we're moving on, amen. 
<laughs> Mr. Willie represented this morning when he came in. He came in with his Alabama jacket on, so we're going to see. Oh, Lord. Well, I guess <laughs> Alabama and Michigan come on and Texas and Washington will play. And all of that, all of that, I, 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 we celebrate, this has always been a church that has believed wholeheartedly in balance. That we enjoy our living while remaining in our Christian identity. And, and we're on the threshold of crossing over. And as we prepare to cross over, Job 22, 28 has been in my spirit. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. That within us lies the power to speak things by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Now hear me now that are in alignment with God and God's word. And then we watch the powers, that language of, and the light shall shine upon. Then we watch the power of God unfold before us. And so for the first part of this message, I, as senior pastor of this house, I want to declare and to decree that we are now going to cross over into a phenomenal season of progress. <laughs> progress being forward momentum and accomplishment. The Lord put this way down, down deep as I was just meditating on Friday that the word for somebody, in order to experience progress, your word is don't go back. I don't know what that means for everybody, but I do know the word says forgetting those things which are behind that which you cannot change. And, and let me add because see I need to add some justice stuff. We can't afford to go back to foolishness politically. <laughs> Somebody talk to me now. We, we, we talking about a whole lot of stuff but we're not talking about the right stuff. We, we, we nationally, internationally we on some teeter-tottering. We can't go back. I declare and decree that it's the season to progress, but also, hear me, and I want us to get this in the intent that I'm giving it. I declare and I decree that we are crossing over into prosperity. I don't want you to think about 10 and 12 and 15 dollars. Because see, some of us, we limit prosperity, and every time it gets mentioned, we start thinking about dollars. I'm not talking about no dollar. Now, it can include dollars. And if you do get some prospering dollars, remember the pastor. <laughs> but, but, but in this, what, saints? I'm looking at prosperity as enlargement, increase, and expansion in every area of life. And one of the things I want us to continue as a church, as the kingdom of God, is to have an enlarged sensitivity to the plight, journey, and struggles of other people. 
Because see, the truth of the matter is there's some folks sitting around us in this sanctuary watching online today and you know you only made it by the grace of God and people have no idea of all the things you had to endure even throughout this year and all you can say is, Lord, I thank you, you brought me. It's a level of sensitivity towards the plight of other people, but then also I declare and decree progress, prosperity, but I also declare and decree growth. Spiritual, emotional, and intellectual maturity that informs every area of our life and ultimately helps us to be our better and best self. I don't know about you. I, I know I need to grow in some areas. Anybody can? Yeah. I, mm. huh. But see, even in this growth, I want God to grow us. And so you, what has been, become a, a very clear to me, I've had conversations with a couple of people this week. Let me say something to my own people. We've got to want each other to do well. Now let me say something to all people. We've got to want each other to do well. I want your family to be blessed. I want your children to be blessed. If you're from another congregation, I want your church and your pastor, your ministry to be blessed. I want us to do well because if you do well, then I do well. And I don't know what's going on. Well, we seem to just relish in destructive talk. I want us to grow in such a way. And then I'm going I'm I'm to end it with one scripture and then we're going to be through for the day and then I'll pick up next week. Amen. Hope, hope, it's a lot of y'all. They hope y'all come back next week. Amen. <laughs> I said, Lord, that's a lot of people said, church. <laughs> but we have to grow in embracing our responsibility to our communities, to our educational systems. Y'all talk to me now. I ain't gonna do too much hollering, but I know I'm saying a little something right now. We've got to embrace our responsibility. I just mentioned it politically. When it's time to vote, we gotta go. We've got to be willing to embrace our responsibility to speak truth to unjust systems, to unjust structures, and to unjust people. We've got to grow in making the welfare of our children and our youth a priority. We can no longer remain silent, saints of God. We've got to tell our history even when they want to take the books off the shelves. We've got to speak and tell folk where we come from. We've got to tell people who brought us a mighty long way. We've got to sing the praises of the slaves that endured. We've got to talk about chattel slavery. This was no voluntary nothing. It was the most heinous form of treatment to a people but in the midst of it all we had a God who kept us and we come from a people even in the midst of abuse who could still say somewhere I hear music in the air there must be a God somewhere we've got to grow and speak and that we've come through the fire and the flood and we're going to tell our story okay what they say we got plenty of avenues to tell the story. Talk about Sojourner. Mm. Talk about Harry. Talk about Nat. Talk about Booker T and W.E.B. Talk about 
Rosa and Coretta and Betty. Talk about them. Talk about Fannie Lou. We've got to stand up in our growth. We've got to make sure, saints of God, we've got to make sure that we not only speak with our voices, hear me now, but we've also got to speak with where we invest our time. My prayer is that we would spend more time with the Lord. <laughs> we already shouted, so I'm almost through now. Spend more time in God's presence. We've got to consider where we invest our talents and our giftings. Stop trying to impress folk and squeeze your way in circles that have made it obvious that they don't want you there. Because here's what I know about a God who is able to do exceeding, abundant, and above all that you could ever ask. I think if they don't want you, that God will create a way somewhere else. How many people know what I'm talking about? It hadn't been easy, but you've lived long enough to see God bring opportunities out of some of the most difficult spaces simply because once one door closed, God busts down the door of another. But we also, in our growth, we got to make it known where we invest our money. <laughs> you don't get to disrespect us and think we're going to keep spending our money there. You don't get to keep talking to our seniors and our elders any kind of way. I don't care if it's at the Burger King, the McDonald's, Chick-fil-A. I don't care if it's at, you don't get to talk to, because see, we come, see, I don't know about nobody else. Sometimes you got to draw the line in the sand and remind folk, you're not just talking to anybody from just jump off anywhere. You're talking to one who has a royal lineage, a royal lineage because of the royal blood of Jesus Christ, but a royal lineage because of what's on the continent of Africa, a royal lineage because we come from a people who were able to bring something out of nothing to turn foods that other folk threw away into delicacies. I ain't never seen the time where you got to pay $75 for a bucket of chitlins. They better thank black folk. Thank Ain't the slaves who are able. I ain't talking about going to eat no chitlins, but I'm just talking about we come from folk who are able to take scraps. And so here's my prayer from the word, and I'm through. 1129, I told you, don't get nervous. Here's my prayer for all of us as we prepare to cross over. Deuteronomy 111. May the Lord, the God of your ancestors, increase you a thousand times and bless you as he promised. Y'all better hear me now. May the Lord, the God of your ancestors, increase you a thousand times and bless you as he has promised. Now point to somebody, if you are watching virtual, point to the screen or point to somebody and just repeat after me. If you're in the sanctuary, we gonna end this together and then we gonna saturate it with a praise. Point to somebody and say, may the Lord, the God of your ancestors, increase you a thousand times and bless you as he has promised. Point at one more person. We finna finish this and put some praise on it and tell them, may the Lord, the God of your ancestors, increase you a thousand times and bless you as he has promised. Now, if you're looking for a God of increase, Hallelujah. Somebody holler hallelujah. Hallelujah today. Hallelujah today. We're standing. That's the first part. Huh. Now next Sunday, I'm going to let you know. Read Colossians 3.
Because in order for us <laughs> to get this progress, prosperity, and growth, the title of this sermon is called Detox. Somebody about to holler detox. detox. Yeah, some of us, we, we going to eat bad today and drink some detox. <laughs> Cayenne pepper and lemonade in Canada. But that's the word for next week, detox. Detox. So don't y'all don't hide from me next week. <laughs> But I want us to be increased, and I want us to be blessed. Oh, and I just believe God is able, and God's going to do just what he said. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God's point at somebody, tell him he's going to do just what he said. Tell him, uh, just tell, tell him God's going to do just what God said. Oh. <laughs> God going to do just what he said. God going to do just what he said. God's going to do. God's going to do. God's going to do just what he said. That's when he blessed me. Maybe it's 1133. See, I, I, I kept my promise. Maybe somebody here. This has been an unusual, what we would call supernatural day. A little different. Maybe you're here on this last Sunday of the year, last day of the year, and you don't have a church home. You don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Let me start there. If you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ, I want you to know people have overcomplicated Jesus. Jesus ain't that complicated. The Word of God says if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, believe in your heart God raised him from the dead, you start your journey with Jesus in that moment, we then make our commitment known by taking on the waters of baptism. If you've never, I can't promise you an easy life, but I do know that I'd rather have a life with Jesus than a life without Jesus. If that's you today, won't you make a decision today? If you're here and you don't have a church home or maybe you're feeling led to unite with this fellowship, I tell folk this is not a perfect church. I tell folk we're not perfect pastors, not perfect leadership, but we believe that the love of Jesus Christ is in this place, and not only do we welcome you here, we want you here. For the one, there's some things that have gotten in the way over your journey, and you want to come back to God, but maybe people keep telling you, you need to get yourself fixed and clean, and no, you don't. I want you to know God's going to take you just like you are. God will do the work that God desires to do in your life. Just trust God. If you're in the sanctuary, you can either walk forward if you want to make a decision or there are cards in the pew. You can fill that card out and place it in the offering basket at offering time. If you're online, 1-800-876-9506 or email office at templechurch.org. The invitation is extended. Won't you come? God is able to do just what he said he would do. And he's going to fulfill. He's going to fulfill. Christ, we thank you for the one who has responded even in this in-person worship. We thank you for trusting us, trusting her to this branch of your body. Fill her afresh with the Holy Ghost and with power. And we say thank you and we praise you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we ask it all. Amen, amen. Come on, let's thank God for the one who has responded. Let's thank God Hallelujah. for those who may be making decisions in, in various other capacities as well. We will not have in-person Watch night in watch night tonight, 11 p.m. Virtual only. Say virtual only. Virtual. If only. you own virtual, put it in the comment. Virtual only, 11 o'clock. 
Tune in. Amen. 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 You can eat and shout at the same time on your couch. Amen. Praise him. <laughs> <laughs> Samaritan Ministries. So we're in transition with some of our staff at Samaritan Ministries, so we're transitioning. We don't have a full-time cook. If God has anointed you, somebody say anointed. Anointed. Not you feel. <laughs> some people can cook. Some people are called to look. Amen. <laughs> but we are need, in, in need of some cooking help. Let me say thank you publicly to Dr. Cork and the entire culinary center. If you own culinary, wave your hand at us. They spent all day yesterday cooking the full week's meal for Samaritan ministry so that all that has to be done is to heat the food and serve it. They, that was a miracle for us because we were trying to figure out, thank you, Dr. Cork, thank you to all of our culinary. Amen. But, if you do have an anointing and you can cook and you can help, you don't have to do it every day, but if maybe we can get a few people, see Dr. Cork or Deacon Jolly, so that we can help plug that gap. Amen. Let me see. I'm looking. All right. Kids, teens, stop by the Green Temple table and get your after worship snack. Amen. Kids and teens. If there's something left, you can get some grown folk. There's a lot of y'all today, so I don't know. Amen. <laughs> uh, if we run out of snacks and there's some in, in the office up under the, where the coffee pot is there's some more chips and some more um, rice krispie treats that's what they are, amen Amen. but y'all let the children, y'all know this is what we do let the children hey, I saw some grown folk knock children out the way trying to get a bag last what, what the act like y'all ain't seen no apple, orange or mint amen <laughs> Temple, we love you. We appreciate everything you do to help God has been good to us throughout this year. Amen. And we come in the spirit of this church, one of our themes, and we say it, we still believe that the best is yet to come. And tell somebody that your best is still yet to come. Your best. If you're is still online and you want to worship through giving, click the giving links on the website and the app. Text the word temple to 91999. If you are a text to giver, come on, Titans, help us, Jesus. Amen. 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 The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. And may the blessings of Almighty God, fully revealed in Jesus Christ, be yours this day and always. Amen. God bless you. If you're in the sanctuary, let's stand as we follow the instruction of our ushers. If we're worshiping the Lord through giving and those who are making their exit out of the back door. And then also we say God bless you for those who are online.
Lord is blessing me right now. The Lord bless